Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about Granny Smith apples. Believe it or not, Granny Smith apples were actually discovered by a lady called Granny. Her name was Maria Ann Smith, so she was Granny Smith. She found the little apple tree growing in her compost pile in her orchard in Australia in the 1860s. How's that for some interesting information? They've since become one of the most popular apples around the world. They were originally grown in Australia, but now they're grown in the United States below the Mason-Dixon line, and they are available year-round. We all know that Granny Smith apples are sturdy, a bright green, and the most commonly found green apple in the United States. Regarding their characteristics, they're known for their tartness. Their flavor reminds some people of lemons. They're crisp, juicy, and firm with a bright white flesh to them. And some people say that they sweeten a little bit with age. Regarding the best uses for Granny Smith apples, they can be eaten raw. They might be a little too tart for some people to eat raw. But they can be cut and included into salads and their tartness can be offset with other ingredients. They pair very, very well with nut butters and sharp cheeses. They're an excellent apple to include in pies because they hold their shape very, very well when they're baked. They can also be included in muffins, pancakes, cakes, cobblers, and tarts. You can even include Granny Smith apples in soups and stuffings. I do hope this helps you out. Take care. Bye for now.